a lot of you guys have asked us for tips um, on using a manual lens on OMD cameras and today we are going to do just that with help from our special guest Stefan. Hello. And let's get started. Let's get it on. Advertisement. <laughs> All right. Olympus UK is doing a Black Friday deal uh, so on the uh, EM10 Mark III. So if you buy it between the 22nd of November until the 2nd of December, this is the, uh, the deal range. And uh, you can claim, or not claim, you will be given a 25mm 1.8 lens free of charge. So like, whether it's body only, kit, uh, combinations you know as soon as you buy the em10 mark 3 you'll be given this lens for free and cool you know if you are look already looking into this camera i think this is the best time to get it um yeah you don't have to fill in any claim form they will just chuck the lens to you sweet nice okay now get back to our conversation and today's episode is about menu focusing um but yeah let's talk to you first you know stefan has kindly enough to design our new logo, as you can already see from our thumbnail, but today is the first time we showcase the new sequence that we have. And well, thank you. Well, you're welcome. I've been a fan for so long and I just thought that maybe I should do something to give back to you. Like with all the information and all the help that you're getting out and all the tips and, the, and everything. And I just thought maybe I should try to do something like for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you. And you also can see that he's a dedicated Olympus photographer. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about your photography. Well, I started, funny enough, I started years ago with manual focus. Ah. Because my first Olympus camera that I got, the E410. Yep, the, D the, the DSLR. DSLR, yeah. Yep. And I got some adapters and I found some old Russian lenses. Yeah, cool. Like the radioactive ones with the yellow coating. Dangerous 1. stuff. 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> <laughs> and I just started with that, like doing portraits and lifestyle and all sorts of things. So manual focus was my first, my first so uh, you, like challenge you, so in So that, that, those were your first lenses. You actually didn't have an AF lens. No, I think I had a like the kit lens, 14 to something, 42, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but yeah. it wasn't very good. And like the moment I saw the 1.4 with the bokeh and the depth and everything, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This is for me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just put the other one in the cupboard and just never touched it. Basically. So you're mainly into portraits, so shooting a lot of people. Yeah, portraits and lifestyle and things like that. Oh, All right, those. okay. Yeah. So I guess, I guess that's that's the way to go. So you're quite familiar with manual focusing. Yeah. Which is today's topic. Because um, uh, like I mentioned already, like a lot of you guys have really asked me because I, you probably seen on my past few videos where yeah. I've been using a lot of manual lenses. So uh, I've been talking about uh, 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 those lenses and a lot of people got curious about how do you use those lenses on and OMD cameras. Easy. Pretty easy actually. So uh, today I'm going to basically use the EM10 Mark III as an as a example because it's the simplest OMD cameras you can get on the market at the moment. It's yeah. simpler than the, you know, the flagship EM1 no, no, Mark II. Yeah. Um, so in terms of customization, it's less compared to that. So, but you can still do the same thing. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to do just that. So let's, let's try it. Yeah, I'm gonna go just a little bit closer. It's funny, like, you know, I never noticed a little bit of glow from this lens before. Now I can see the glow because I can magnify it. <laughs> yeah, this is 1.4 here. Today I'm gonna to use the EM10 Mark III uh, as an example to show you guys how we can use uh, an old manual lens or any manual lenses uh, to Photograph, <laughs> and uh, you know, Stefan has lots of experience on using old manual lenses on cameras, and uh, so one of your oldest technique was to do focus bracketing. <laughs> Tell I me a little bit about that. Focus bracketing, like the deal is, you focus somewhere, rather in front or behind the subject. Yep. And then you just shoot 
refocus, shoot, refocus, shoot. Refocus. Yeah, basically you keep, you, you keep turning the focus turning, just a little yeah, bit. Just every a little bit, yeah. yeah. And then you go to, through like 25 pictures to yeah. find the right one. Right. And you delete the rest. And it's lucky that, you know, that's, that's the time when he was using DSLR, which you didn't have the, uh, the focus peaking no, or any sort of no latest tech. No peaking, nothing. Just yeah, that, that's why yeah. you use the, uh, the bracketing, which is kind of yeah. like a very effective way of doing manual lenses. And, uh, but today, lucky enough, we do have a lot of uh, help from the modern, modern digital cameras now. They all have peaking, magnify, which is what I'm going to show you guys today. Um, even with the uh, EM10 Mark III, they still have all the same features. Although, I have to say that and, um, in terms of customizations, the high-end camera like the EM5 Mark III, the EM1 Mark II, EM1X, you can assign to like specific buttons so to yeah, yeah. you know turn it on straight away. Uh, even the super control panel on mm -hmm. the back. On the EM10 Mark III, however, this 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 super control panel it doesn't really exist. So like to actually try to enable the peaking is very tricky. Uh, but you can assign two the only two function buttons. <laughs> uh, so, so that's what I did today. I just have to uh, set those two custom function buttons to peaking and magnify just okay. to help me out in terms of focus, uh, focus uh, assist. Perfect. But it works. So let's, let's, get, let's get started. I'm going to show you guys what the process is, um, how to set it all up on the camera so you know exactly what you should be doing when you use a manual lens. Traditionally, the super control panel, you press OK, it will bring up the whole kind of thing. But then uh, in the older cameras, or low end camera, you don't have the same control panel. You just basically have these features here we can change, which doesn't involve anything to do with uh, stabilization and peaking assist. So what you need to do is press menu button here. Press menu. That should bring up the menu here. And then you go to the uh, custom menu. You scroll down and you will see MF assist. So you scroll through over there, you're going basically going to turn on magnify, turn on peaking. So when these are on, doesn't necessarily mean that you will have access to them straight away because you will have to set it to a custom button to turn them on when you're shooting. So to do that, you have to press menu and then you go to button function and you start customizing FN1 and FN2. So at the moment I set FN1 FN as magnify so you can obviously do other things. So I'll do as magnify. So which means FN1 is this one here. And FN2, function two, is that button there to be the peaking. So once you have that, now you can see if I press the FN1, it will become magnify. So you can, you can actually see very clearly how to see things. But peaking, press that, you now have peaking on. So you can see the thing is now lit up in red. Just a small tips as well, you know, I talked about customizing the buttons and everything. Um, because any old manual lenses uh, or non-Olympus lenses, uh, you won't have any electronic communication between the lens and the body. So it doesn't know that you're actually focusing. So you have to manually enable those uh, magnifying and peaking before you can use those assist. Yeah. Uh, but with uh, an, like native lens, you can have the communication. So yeah. that which means that you Actually, if you want to customize those buttons and use it uh, dedicate yeah, uh, you uh, uh, functions, yeah. you, ca uh, you can do that, but you can also do it automatically. So once yeah, you, you set the, um, the peaking and magnify on... In the menu, like the moment you start focusing, you start it, focusing just it, on, it yeah. just turns on by itself. So you just have to be mindful of that, because otherwise you might be going crazy when you start turning things and yeah. you start magnifying and yeah, yeah, everything. Sure. But uh, yeah, just a small tips. Put that right there. Oh yes, awesome. So a lot of you guys may wonder, why would you want to buy a menu lens for your OMD camera as well? You can access, you know, all the latest and the greatest AF lenses. Um, you know, for, for me, I think it adds a whole 
kind of uh, new world opens up a new world for photography and also video because no matter how good the uh, M Zuko lenses are, you know there are there are also some specialist lenses like uh, 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 these uh, tilt shift lenses, you know yeah. all kinds of things that, that currently not available on the Micro Four. So or even if you're more experimental, you like to experiment different effects, you know uh, using some it's older lenses are cool. Using the defects is in as an effect because like. All these new lenses are all fixed. They uh, no, no no barreling, no aberration, no nothing, no flares. Yeah. But then some people like that. Of course, yes. Old cameras with flares and different types of bokeh effects in the background and things like that. Yeah. Now it's sort of uh, trending. So. And, and also, you know, if uh, uh, sometimes you do it for the look of it, you know, and uh, sure. uh, if you have, uh, let's say, you have a vintage photo shoot, 1920 styles, you may if you want, if you use a 2019 lens. You know, you're gonna look completely different. You know, no matter how much artificial grain you're gonna apply to the image, it doesn't look the old stuff. It's not the same. Thing. So, like, you, you, you might can want to fake it really well, but it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> so, you might want to kind of grab an old lens, and which is another thing. I, you know, it's about older lenses. They are cheap. They're dirt cheap. Very cheap. Yeah. You know, you can pick yeah. up on eBay for thirty, forty dollars. You know, Absolutely. Russian lenses, Absolutely. five dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they they are really, really cheap, and and cost you nothing to get an adapter. You know, like, and uh, so. You, you, 10 pound, 20 pound, you can get an adapter. Yeah, I think it's like 10 pounds. Yeah. yeah, very, very simple. So like, all together, you can get a new lens and adapter for like 50 quid. You know, like that's that's good. You know, you can experiment if you don't like it, sell it back on the eBay for the same money. Of course, <laughs> just keep it. Maybe, maybe in the future something will come up, and then, and even if it's just for the for the sake of trying something new. Yeah, exactly. Boosting your creativity. And, and also, if, if you are as old as I am, you know, and uh, you, <laughs> you, you might have accumulated a lot of older yeah. SLR lenses, you know, that might be tucked in the corner somewhere, gathering dust. And now is a chance to take you them all back them. out. Yeah. And yes. just put an adapter on the OMD camera, and you can reuse them. You yes. know, so that, that's good. You know, why waste it? You know, you pay the money for it, and you might as well use them. Yeah, for art, like, if it's not client work and all the little glows and softness and things like that don't bother you then just go for it no ladies like the softness in it so you can't see all the blemishes so that you know that's another know tip about, i don't know about that <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Don't, 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 don't. okay let me look that side again so now let's talk about stabilization because you know OMD cameras has one of the best stabilization systems in the world and uh, why don't you use it when you're throwing in manual lenses on it? You can actually use it by setting it manually because uh, unlike uh, latest lenses, the system will automatically detect it so you know what focal length you're putting on it yeah. and it will set the appropriate stabilization for the lens. Uh, but when you have a manual lens, there is no uh, electronic communication because uh, when you just take off the lens for instance and then uh, there is absolutely nothing there, no so uh, so the the camera, in fact, doesn't know there is a lens on the camera, so it doesn't know. So uh, uh, the only way to make sure that you have the correct stabilizations on it uh, is to manually set it, and it's so easy to do it via the menu, and you just set the correct focal length, uh, and that will be it. Because if you don't use the correct focal length, you will find that the the whole thing is going to be oh, shaky, yeah. very very shaky. Yeah, yeah. very very strange effect. <laughs> yeah, very strange which effect. If you do video, it could be cool. Yeah, we should ask, we should ask Tracy to maybe to deliberately set the wrong focal length just to focal test length. the result. <laughs> <laughs> but is that, do, it, it, do the whole vlog like that? Oh yes, oh yeah. Shaking and dancing. Yeah, that's cool. I can't I can't dance. He can. No, I'm too old that, for that. That was it. That was a, that was everything. That's <laughs> that all I got. <laughs> that was, <laughs> all my moves in one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh well. that's then it's still, it's still better than me. That's sad. <laughs> no, no, I think I think a few yeah, sad like now. Using the the stabilization with with pretty much any lens you want is is a big plus. Like it is. You should you should take full advantage of it. Absolutely. I mean, I think I think especially with the Olympus cameras, you know, and uh, there are so many features that are allowing you to kind of re-explore the older yes. lenses yeah. and uh, with success. You know, like when when you talked about the DSLR, how much you have to do the uh, the focus bracketing. Focus bracketing. You know, yeah. Yeah, and now you can almost nail it every single time because you got peaking and magnify. Yeah, well, even with the with the older cameras, even without peaking, without the assist, you can still use the stabilization. Yes, of so course. So you're use, you're shooting at one over twenty fifth or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you yeah. can still get steady shots. Absolutely, That's absolutely. Perfect. Nice.
So thank you, Stefan, for coming. You know to see us. You know, I know this is me. this this is your holiday. Is a holiday? No, it's some sort of holiday slash work slash visit slash something we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out yeah but it's good that you know you're here and once again i have to thank you for designing new logos for us well thank you for all the content and all the help yeah so, no no you know i truly appreciate it and then uh, it looks in good Ho me. hopefully you guys will like the new logo and our new intro and uh, yeah he's the he's the guy behind the the fantastic thing and pretty sure when we do a merch that logo will be right there and then uh, very nice yeah yeah i mean uh, i have this yeah maybe i'll i'll, I'll post a, a photo of the one that you mocked up for us you know the the t-shirt yeah you could tracy loved that t-shirt i'm telling you she really loves it uh, so we may we may make that so that that would be really cool uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video about menu focusing hopefully you get a little bit of tips on how to use it on any omd cameras and uh, stefan of course you know he he used uh, menu focus a lot in the old days and then uh, it's still useful in today's world because uh, no matter how good the autofocus is on the system, there are times when the AF just doesn't work. It doesn't really matter what cameras. No, even if it works, like sometimes, okay, you're using face focus or eye focus, but then you want to change it, you don't need to go to the menu, so you just switch to manual focus and then just change yes. it on the fly. So yeah, and, and uh, that, it, that is why there is still a uh, feature on the menu saying that single AF, plus MF yes because sometimes Perfect. the uh, professional will still once it's locked on the AF if the, the subject suddenly move a little bit they can quickly adjust it you know and then uh, that that's the perfect way of doing it and then maybe sometimes you want to focus on the lips or on the hair or something you don't have lips AF so <laughs> <laughs> Olympus, did you hear that? Can you do a lips AF next time? Nose AF, ears AF. That, that's that's a bit over the yeah, top now, I think. I think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the next in one X we have the um, the uh, smart or well, AI focus, like the plane, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, yeah, lips, yeah. Lips, ears, and lips, ears, uh, body parts, basically. Yeah, yeah. Eyebrows. <laughs> no, that's that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you again. And uh, so, if you, you guys, th if you guys uh, have, haven't subscribed to our channel, remember to put the uh, bell notification, put the button on. So stay tuned for our new videos, and also check out Stefan. I'm going to put his social links and everything. And uh, yeah, he's a great designer, great photographer. And uh, thank you for coming in. Until next time. Pleasure. See you soon. A lot of you guys asked this, uh, no. Uh, let's talk a little bit. Ah. Oh. I'm just gonna shoot <laughs> <laughs> like That's the way to do it. That's the way to. For wallpapers and stuff. Just to test out the feather bokeh, you know, like this, this is a good advertisement for it. Perfect. Yeah. Bokeh balls. Bokeh ball, yes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It just. Yeah. Yeah, with the tattoo and everything. That's a F14. I do it all the time. <laughs> That's why most of my shots are horizontal. <laughs>